Hey, what's up guys? I have a quick uh, belated unboxing here for you because this is something that I should have gotten a week or so ago. Um, and I'm not going to get into the whole Screen Factory distribution shit because it's annoying the shit out of me. This is at least the second or third time now where I've gotten something late. Let's hope. Right now I've got uh, creep shows coming and hopefully I'll get it on time, but whatever. Anyway, blah blah blah, I'm complaining already. I just started. Um, I actually did receive both Halloween 2 and Halloween 3 from Screen Factory um, later than I wanted, but I'm not going to, whatever, I'm just not going to keep hitting, kicking the mother down because they're having a lot of distribution issues with, with their consolidation. I, I mentioned it in the um, uh, Trick or Treat video I did last week that people are pissed, I'm one of them, and um, I'm not going to keep kip, kicking them, kicking a dead horse or beating a dead horse or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm still annoyed with it, but it's like at least I got them. I have my steel books and I have my posters. In fact do that first because I'm assuming these are crimp crumpled and dented to shit well, let's take a look see first I can see that this is Halloween 2 and the poster looks like it's usual corners are kind of dented but those aren't that's not always as big a deal as the center obviously come on now doesn't want to come out come on fucking, there we go Here is upside down. Let's do this. Okay, hold on. Let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, shit, I'm already burping. Now, can you see? Hold on, I guess I'll do this quick. It looks okay. With the graph, I have, I still have all of these. The ones I got from the steel books, I haven't, I haven't um, framed any of them because it's a specific sizing. The sizing is really weird, like it's twenty-one by eighteen or something like that, and uh, it required actual like custom framing, and I'm not willing to fork out that money right now. So let's do this. You know what? Well, let's do this for the moment. Let me get the other one. A mess on my desk here, as usual. Okay, shit. There. I can do this. And I can do. Actually, I can do that. There. That's cool. Ah, motherfucker. You know what? That's not gonna work out. So I'll just set it aside. I was trying to be really sneaky about shit, but whatever. Okay, let's get out Halloween 3. This one also looks like it's got some ishy, is, issues. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that there. It's bent right there, but that's pretty common for every single poster I think I've gotten from them, and they're not always terrible. But if, the, if the edges are frayed, it's not as bad, because usually when you frame a poster, the edges are covered up a little bit, so not as big a deal. But let's take a look. See, this looks like it's a bit more... I don't know how the fuck they crumple this shit. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit more... See that? It's folded and stuff. It's not as bad as... A couple other ones I got. And obviously these are thicker than regular posters, like the Trick or Treat ones, so it's not as bad. I do like this poster a lot, too. I like this artwork. It's one of the reasons why I even bought this, because obviously... I own... All the Halloween films, but I love this artwork on both of these, so I wanted to get it, so I can put this one up. I do that, and then I can do that. Does that work? Yeah, let's do that. Do that. There. Move that in the background. Probably explode at some point. Let's open the little fuckers up. Um, let's get the plastic off so we can read the backs quick. I'm assuming you've already seen an unboxing or two. Like I said, I'm late. A lot of people have gotten these already. People who didn't order them or, or, or bought them with FYE, because FYE apparently has them with all the posters, of course, but still. Here is the synopsis and special features of Halloween 2, but I, I think it's the exact same information. It's just the only thing different... With this specific uh, disc is it's got a 4K scan versus the, um, I think it was a 2K scan. 
on the uh, big box set that they released uh, four years ago. Wait, was that four years ago? Shit. Hmm. And so, yeah, you can pause on that if you want. But that's Halloween 2. Here's this awesome artwork. This is fantastic artwork. I like it a lot, personally. I don't see any dings. Or, I don't think these guys have, that I've gotten directly from Shop Factory have had any spine slashes. There's actually kind of a slight little scratch in the corner there. That's, I mean, I'm not going to complain, I suppose, so I finally got it. It's a two disc. It is the theatrical cut Blu ray. And I think this is the television, yeah, television cut DVD, which again is exactly what they released previously. And then it has one quote, you don't know what death is. And that also reminds me of um, Silence of the Lambs when the Buffalo Bill says, you don't know what pain is, or whatever the hell he says. I think that's funny. Let this look, actually. I don't think I heard anything about these discs being a problem. Like I said before, it's not as big a deal because I do have these films already. Although I want to see this 4K scan. It's not a 4K disc, it's a 4K scan, so get your facts straight. Okay. Here's Season of the Witch, which I know it gets a little bit of shit, but I think I've mentioned this numerous times, but I do... Um, appreciate this film for what it was and what they were planning on doing, making this an anthology type of film. I think their main problem was bringing Michael Myers back in Halloween 2. If they had not brought him back in Halloween 2 and went right to this as Halloween 2, Season of the Witch, I think they would have totally been able to do anthologies, but then we would also wouldn't have gotten... It's a double-edged sword, I suppose. We wouldn't have gotten the interesting and endearing story of Michael Myers that was just retconned, by the way, with the new movie that I enjoyed a lot. So if you didn't like it, I guess that's your opinion, but your opinion's wrong. Um, there's actually another little ding there. See that? God damn it. Oh, well. But I do. I love this artwork. This is fantastic artwork. I might actually try to frame this one, because this is just such cool art seeing the kids here for the TV and the evil whatever business. Uh, was, was he a doctor? What was he? I haven't seen the movie in a while. The little fucking guys up there, the clones or whatever the hell they are. And then there's the mild Michael Myers mask right there. Like, or right here, I guess. Very cool if they snuck that in there. And a one disc or just like the previous one. Picture of, um... Oh, what the fuck's his name? I know his name. Tom Atkins. 1982. Wow, right after. Watch the Magic Pumpkin. Watch. I wish they did something more with the backgrounds on these. It's just a metallic fading. Which, whatever. The disc looks... Fine. So yeah, not too bad, I guess, finally getting them, even though it's about a week or so late, or even longer now. But, um, let's do this here. You see those? So yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching. I've got more Steelbook unboxings in the future, all the same shit I've been doing, so stick around if you want, or don't. I don't care. It's up to you. If you stick around, that's awesome. If you don't, that's no hard feelings. It's okay. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you around. Bye.